Hey everybody, I'm Wyatt, and today we're going to take a look at one of my sketchbooks from this last year. Alright, let's get into it. So, uh, for starters, this is one of several sketchbooks I have. I go through one maybe once a month, sometimes twice a month, depending on how much I draw. Uh, but this is the main kind of sketchbook I like to use. This is a moleskin watercolor, and as you can see, it's a it's in like a landscape format. Uh, and this specific one, I filled up pretty quickly uh, from April to May of this this year, 2019. I pretty much started off right away. So uh, for these these first few pages here, I decided to take a. Uh, a beach trip with my friends for my birthday. My birthday is in April. And so we rented out a beach house all to ourselves for the weekend. And we were down in uh, Corpus Christi. And we were out on the island. And we just had a great time. And as of course, as I was out there, of course, uh, just sketched away. So here's like a red Gyarados going through the Gulf of Mexico. And then I did a little bit of uh, sketching on the beach. These are two of my friends, Danny and this is Jordan. Or Dan, sorry. He likes to be called Dan now. And then just a few random patrons that we saw out there. And then the wind kicked up like crazy. Uh, and it was fun. It was kind of fun just watching people walk around and like just seeing them, you know, almost get blown over <laughs> at some points. Uh, and then, of course, just sketching the different birds I saw. And then one thing I like to do with a lot of my sketchbooks, and especially in recent years, uh, for those of you that follow me on Patreon, you get to see all of my journal comics, which are pretty much all the ones done in these sketchbooks. Uh, and that's, you know, if you ever want to see these, uh, be sure to head over to, to Patreon, and I'll post a few every now and then. And this is something that... I'll, I'll talk about this one. This is something that happened to us while we were there. So we had a good spot. We parked it and everything. Everything... It was a great day. And then it wasn't even high tide. Like, this really big wave just came in and just dumped a bunch of water on us, and then it stayed there. And like I said, it wasn't even high tide. Like, the you know, here's the tide, it came back in, the big wave put all that water there, and then the tide went back to where it was. It was just really funny and really weird. Uh, a little bit of more journal comics, and then this, uh, as Avengers Endgame got closer, I wanted to do something, uh, a fun Marvel piece, but I didn't want to do the typical, I didn't want to do just the normal Here's a picture of Captain America. I want to do something a little bit different. And so for those of you who saw that uh, on Twitter and Instagram and so this is the initial sketch is trying to figure all those ideas out of uh, merging the Ben 10 aliens with the Avengers characters. And, and I got a lot of comments saying like, oh, you should have done this one. You should have done this one. I was like, well, maybe someday in the future. But the ones I went on were basically just who I thought matched up visually. Uh, I didn't want to deal with, you know, there's, I didn't want to match it. I didn't want to make it super obvious because a lot of the Ben 10 aliens are already based on those characters or other, you know, characters from Marvel and DC. I didn't want to combine them with the character that they basically already were. Uh, like, I know I got some people that were saying I should have done Accelerate. I should have merged Accelerate with Quicksilver. It's like, well, Accel Accelerate already kind of is Quicksilver. And there's really not a lot of room there visually. You can make it work. You can make the fusion work. Uh, but to me, it just wasn't as interesting as, you know, trying to figure out how would Captain America shield. To me, it was more interesting to figure something out like, how would Captain America shield work with heat blasts, you know, volcano uh segmented body and then same thing with diamond head i was like well you know he he's a little bit closer i guess to colossus from the x-men uh but i thought visually it would just be really striking if he had a hammer and he had thor's cape and everything and so that's what this is trying to figure out here and then uh i was getting ready to go to disney world 
uh, and that'll be in the next few pages here coming up soon. Uh, I so this is Tachaka, just doing a little bit of a profile, and then here's a little bit more, and this is kind of what I was talking about, where forearms from Ben Ten basically already is the Hulk, like that's that's who he was inspired to be. So to me, it was hard trying to merge forearms with Hulk. Uh, and make it look like an actual fusion. Like if I, uh, for example, here, if I gave Hulk four arms, he just looks like a mutated Hulk. If I gave him the forearms eyes, he just looks like a discolored forearms. Because, it, you know, the two designs are already so connected on their concept level that it's, it can be difficult to actually make them fuse and make it feel like an actual fusion of the two characters instead of just... A weird knockoff version of one of the characters. Uh, a little bit more Ghost Rider here. And some of these are, are Patreon uh, requests. If you support the channel and my comics on Patreon, you get to uh, request characters. And so that's where the Ghost Rider uh, and Absorbing Man came from. And then this, I was just kind of fooling around. I wanted to try... Uh, so... Most of my work, as you might see on Instagram, Twitter, whatever, I tend to use either just watercolors or just copics. You know, I, and this was kind of my step, and I was like, you know what? It's a multimedia sketchbook. I really should, like, try to blend these two. And that's kind of what this was. So you got a little bit of copic marker on his skin color there, and a watercolor on uh, over here, and then a little bit of watercolor and copics to touch this up here and there. Uh, just to make Throg. And this is another Patreon request. Uh, Machine Man. Uh, a great character. Great Jack Kirby character. And then it, The pose kind of came out a little funny. And I wound up redrawing it. But I posted this one anyways. And I mean they loved it. So I was like well that's something at least. Uh, but it was interesting to try and, and make that pose work. And then this one, I'm he honestly he may be canon somewhere. Uh, but I was like, what if Howard the Duck uh, was mixed with Spider Man? And so it was like Howard the Spider or Spider Duck. That's what it was. Spider Duck is what I landed on. And uh, just because I really love the design of that, uh, the original Avengers Tower from the movies, uh, I went ahead and drew that in the background. And then if you saw Endgame, I was so excited. I You can see the date. I didn't post this for maybe two or three weeks after the movie came out because I didn't want to spoil anything for people. Uh, but, like, pretty much coming straight out of the theater, you know, that, that may be, like, a day or two after the, the movie. Uh, but I just had to draw it. That that scene, I thought, was so well done, uh, the, the whole finale. And then this... Uh, for my trip to Disney World, I started doing, and just to get better with my filmmaking skills in general, I started using the one second app, I forget what it's called, it's like a second every day. Uh, and this was me just like scribbling ideas, just like trying to figure out, okay, what would be, not necessarily what would be good long form stories, because uh, I feel like I have plenty of ideas for that stuff. Uh, but I wanted to stretch my muscles in terms of shots specifically and layouts and uh, organizing characters on a screen and so that's what this kind of was and then this started the uh the disney world trip things where i was just like uh my my i'm not a fan of flying as it says here uh my thing is i'm not scared of flying i'm not scared of heights i'm not I mean, I'm scared of heights if I feel I'm not secured. But, like, I can handle roller coasters fine. I can do all that fine. And I can handle being in tall buildings. Uh, and I can handle being in a plane high up. The problem is I just get impatient. Like, with a road trip, I can at least pull over and, you know, stomp out my boredom or whatever at a cool rest stop. On a plane, I'm stuck on there for, like, four to five hours straight, depending on how long the flight is. And it's like, okay, I already watched a movie, I already scribbled in my sketchbook for an hour, and we still have, like, 40 minutes to go till we get to the tarmac. I am so bored. And it's just hard for me to 
like some people just take naps so easily and it's like it that it, it doesn't work for me i just can't and so uh anyways on to actually getting to disney world uh we went to the animal kingdom and this is uh the avatar area and at one point when we went on the little they have a safari in the animal kingdom and at one point the tour guy pointed out, hey, look over there. If you see one of the park rangers, he was like stopped in a Jeep and an ostrich was at the, the door. And we were like, hey, it looks like he's getting pulled over for speeding and the ostriches get mad at him. And so here's some of the animal sketches from the Animal Kingdom, from the safari. And a little bit more. I was trying to get nice and loose with the pen and just let it, let it figure out and be not too worried about, you know, clean line work or anything you just let it go nuts and when we went to hollywood studios there was a little bit of rain and you know of course at anything park people just don't like rain uh i always found that weird even at water parks you know as long as it's not lightning it's safe but i just thought it was always funny like we'd go to schlitterbahn and it starts raining and people start complaining that they're getting wet it's like you're at a water park dude with Okay, anyways, point is, some people started leaving the park, and that left uh, the rides wide open for my friend and I to just go, you know, three or four times on Star Tours with no problem. Uh, a little bit more sketching of uh, what I saw. And then this, I remember I drew this on the way back. Uh, I was waiting in the terminal for my flight home, and I was kind of just, like, looking through pictures on my phone and just scribbling and then this, I was like, you know, Mickey Mouse, Spider-Man, always a good mix. And then these I drew on the plane. I was just trying to stretch my muscles uh, in terms of creature design. So I was like, what if there was like a, a whale, but like a space whale? Just trying to remember. Because uh, if you've been on the Avatar ride, they have, there are a lot of new animals and creatures uh, from Pandora that haven't shown up in the movie or that weren't in the movie, and, you know, maybe they'll show up in future movies, because I know they're planning, like, five or six, what was it? Or even more? I don't know. Anyways, there were a lot of really cool creatures that show up on that ride, and one of them was, like, a giant shark whale or whale shark. This isn't it, but I was just trying to th get in that mindset of Pandora creatures and just, like, what, what, would, what would look cool? And then I was goofing around here, so, like, a, I tried to make a Shadow, shadow Lugia... Ultimately, I wasn't a fan of the, the pose. I just felt like it didn't... He doesn't feel menacing. He feels, like, defeated and <laughs> and tired, which I was. So it's very fitting of how I felt on that flight. Uh, but, you know, I obviously that's why I didn't post it, because I was just like, that, that doesn't quite work. And then uh, these were... So every now and then... On Patreon, if you're part of the Kamish Captain tier, as I mentioned before, you get to request uh, drawings that I do. And every now and then I'll do like a theme month, like for Halloween, uh, you know, name a monster and I'll draw that monster. And this month uh, was a Pokemon theme, so it was like, if you name, name a Pokemon and I'll draw it. And these were a couple of the requests I got. And then, of course, just a bunch of scribbles of Figment. Uh, the mascot of Epcot. Love that little dragon. And then more Patreon requests. And then uh, just kind of random notes and scribbles. And that's that's pretty much it for this sketchbook. Uh, and like I mentioned, I have... A, uh, the, if you're looking for a sketchbook that's great with watercolor and pen and pretty much just every media this the moleskin watercolor sketchbook is the one you want to go with like it the only thing that bleeds through on the back is the copics and even then they don't bleed on to the other page so all it does is just you know show up on the back side but that's it it won't i've had some other sketchbooks which you know are great for pencil sketching but the second you put marker in like i've had some that bleed through you know two or three pages uh, but this, the paper is really quality and thick. You can probably hear it. It sounds like it's thick, like cardstock. Uh, but it's it's designed to take watercolor very well, and it does very well. 
Uh, and it's just a quality sketchbook. You know, it's, it's moleskin, so of course it's going to be quality. And that is the sketchbook from April to May. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like. That there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, subscribe for more. And if you'd like to help uh, keep the channel running and uh, help with Wyatt Tunes Comics and help keep everything going, uh, join us over on Patreon. There's all sorts of rewards and different tiers and stuff that you can sign up for. And be sure to leave a comment if you'd like to see more of, you know, of what you would like to see more of. Uh, I'm going to try to do, now that I'm basically rearranging my work schedule, I'm going to try to do videos like this a little bit more often. Uh, sketchbook tours, drawing videos, just basically being on YouTube again. Uh, sorry about the hiatus, but yeah, just, you know, work kind of took off and everything. Uh, but now... I've restructured it all, so hopefully I'll be showing up more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take it easy.